everyone! Welcome back to our English class! Today, I am going to tell you another story titled The Parable of the Rainbow Colors by one M. Flavier. Are you ready to listen? Then, let's begin! It all started as innocent statements by each of the colors. No attempt was made by anyone to denigrate the others. But as time went on, the color's declaration became stronger and haughty with an overtone which tended to put down the other colors. Their claim became very explicit as to who was the best color. It reached the point when the colors were actually quarreling. I am the brightest, for red is the most striking. Why? Life-sustaining blood is color red. I represent courage and bravery. Even love symbols such as heart and roses are color red. The color yellow retorted, What can be brighter than my yellow exemplified by the sun? I am the color of Katy and of warmth. Without me, only the eye glaring ones remain. What outlandish claims! Sunrise is orange, not yellow. I am important because I represent health and strength. Look, I ripened fruits and vegetables. They are predominantly orange. Well, if you are talking about vegetables and leaves, you are referring to my color. I am the symbol of life. All that thrives in the fields and forests is the greenery I provide. I am the most important color. The color blue could not help it anymore, so it shouted, What can be more expansive than sky and the seas? Do you forget that the farthest skies and the deepest seas are blue? I represent patriotism. I stand for depth to feelings and extensive spaces. The color indigo came out with a statement. You talk about wide areas. I hope you realize that the largest area in the world is silence. And I represent that dimension with my color. It means a thoughtfulness. It is prayer expressed in the deepest of feelings. Aha! You forget the pomp of royalty and power is violet. I am wisdom and authority. What can be more overwhelming? Suddenly, the rain interrupted the contentious exchange of arguments. You are probably all wrong and all right. Yes, you all have your unique features, but all of you has a special role. And more importantly, you need each other to give the mixed colors beauty. From now on, you will not be seen separately. When it rains, a strip of colors will appear in the sky. You will appear together. You will be called a rainbow. You will then represent cooperation and hope. With that, the rain disappeared. Now, you've reached the end of our story. Thank you very much for watching and for listening. I will see you again. This is your Maestro Mela. Always at your service.